Well, I will tell you, the other important thing about my teenage years was that I met um, this family through my mother, actually, who became a, a tremendous um, intellectual um, and political influence on me. Mm-hmm. And I became, well, she was like my surrogate mother, actually. And I spent a lot of time with this family. Uh, and um, I'd already, um, when I met them, when I was about 13, started serious reading. I mean, I'd always been a bookworm, mm-hmm. you know, from the age of four. Uh, but then I started reading, um, I don't know, all sorts of, I can't even remember. I re- what I, I but I remember, you know, beginning to read things which made me understand why my mother was so uncomfortable on this little council estate, and why you know she kept up with her tablecloths and her mm-hmm. high heels and her little suits and all that you know because she was amazing. So would that be from novels or social research? Or? It, no, no, it would have been from novels, mm. largely. Mm. And uh, so I began to understand, you know, about class and uh, all, all of that. And then um, this new family arrived in our village uh, and, in a, and they lived in a corner of a huge house uh, which I knew very well because I used to walk past it every day to go to my first primary school. And uh, he was an observer journalist. And uh, she was a teacher who landed up in my mother's school. And they had a daughter who came to my school, except she never cycled to the bus like I did. She, Her mum took her because her father went up to London every day so it, they were, she did a sort of round and then drove to school and they had an older son who was at Beedales so my mother sent me up there on some errand she said she'd lend Pat something and so I went up there and this house was well it was a corner of a house that had been bought by some friends of theirs and they were splitting it up basically and they rented this corner and I just became really, really friendly. I was never very friendly with the daughter who was in the year below me, with my sister's year. But I became very, very friendly. It, it was probably a bit weird, but with the mother. Mm. And because um, her daughter was also a total bookworm, mm. but to such a point that, you know, she wouldn't move or do anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I spent a lot of time with them, and then I got to know, uh, you know, the the father who was a wonderful um, exotic journalist, but actually was very very interesting because he'd been a conscientious objector, mm-hmm. and uh, you know they voted they were liberals. Golly, I'd never heard of them, and um, I just became very involved in their family you know I'd be up there for supper twice a week probably and used to go spend a lot of time with them mm-hmm. and, and just listen to them talking and listen to them talking and joined in and read their books and mm-hmm. all of that and then of course we had that the thing that really and I don't know how much it was them or how much because I you know my mother was also an avid reader but you know all those amazing books you know came out like the loneliness of the long distance runner and uh, room at the top all those kind of working class novelists well they weren't really but they wrote about it uh you know came out and you know i just embraced it and it was amazing and then um i don't know somehow I became very left-wing.